So Jimmy, uh, back to you. Uh, you know, like GameFi is there. Uh, DeFi project is there. You know, on your opinions, right? Um, does we we zoom out a little bit? Does blockchain have a bigger role in some other industry as well? And you know, like from Canada, right? Do you observe? Uh, there's there's interesting trends or bes- beyond you know like GameFi and DeFi uh, in Canada or or North America. Yeah, I really great question, Chris. Um, and I, I think I want to answer that to first preface it to say that, um, like going back to the COVID conversation, and um, I'm sure many of the audience can relate. But having experienced COVID, you know, there's 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 the uh, economic impact, but really on a personal level, it's really broken my heart, right? And I've seen between billionaires quadrupling their wealth and small business owners and, you know, personal friends of mine that's lost their jobs and really uh, struggle for an income. So really the reason why I even started Ollie Sport was to try to mend some of the past corruption and a lot of the evil that's been lifted up through, uh, through the COVID pandemic, right? not particularly in the pandemic itself, but what it's shown me. So what I've realized is that, you see, we're really at a precipice of change in the beginning of 2020. And really within the next decade or so, we really need to decide how we want to move forward as a species. And really the continuation of humanity as a whole within the next century, right? Like past or uh, afterwards, we need to decide that very soon of how like it, it, like it's a very existential uh, question that we need to ask. And I, I would attribute that the biggest issue that we have right now, if I were to summarize it all, is that right now the world runs in closed systems. And you know, some of the biggest ones that may come to mind right now, as you can uh, you might be able to assume, is that you know, we, we have our uh, government economic policymakers, we have our financial industries, right? The banks the brick and mortar banks, we have real estate, right? Uh, and the owners of it, you know, Bill Gates and just, you know, the, the wealthy few. We have corporate structures and we have our healthcare system. Those are just some that comes up off the top of my head. But essentially the problem with all of these industries and why it's really contributed to this mass delusionment and this unveiling during COVID is that it, it promotes a couple of things that is really anti-humanity, right? It promotes censorship of data, right? So only a select few of people uh, actually know everything that is happening. It promotes asymmetrical power imbalances, right? So we have this this system set up where power and money flows upwards in the org chart. And it takes from the the many and it gives to the few. And obviously given those, those structures, we have corruption and we have an overall system that promotes silos, polarity and conflict. And this is why you have the 99% versus the 1%, the executives versus the unions and employees and the government versus the people. But really where blockchain comes about is that it enables open systems. It turns and converts and transforms censorship into transparency, asymmetrical power into equal opportunities, corruption into accountability and polarized conflicts into a collective global community. And really in our world today, as we enter into all of these laundry lists of existential threats, be it pandemics, climate change, you know, profit maximizing corruptions of all of these industries, we really need to get ourselves together and to organize ourselves as a unified collective. Otherwise we're pretty much screwed. So to me, blockchain and thank goodness I kind of discovered and fell in love with this concept. It, it's really the dream that I'm trying to create with Ollie Sport and everything that we do with Metaverse. It, it, we want to provide a unifying global context for the world so that we can really work together and solve these issues. And every one of you, you know, the co-founders in the audience and the audience yourself, you have a role to play in this transformative process, right? So we're all just very lucky to be a part of this. And uh, we're one of the first like we said with the gold mine example, we're the pioneers of this, right? We're the first people to be a part of it. And uh, I'm just so grateful for that. Man, you should. Uh, I, th- I think that was one of the most passionate, you know, sharing about blockchain and decentralization they have seen, you know, for, for a long time. And you need to record that and put it on Coursera, man. Uh, uh, 